It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Let me get you pulled up. Gotcha. What's up? What you been doing all day? Look at this moose, y'all. Is that not adorable? So we're going to be doing um, the oval with this moose and the sign that says Merry Mooseness. Is that not adorable? Oh my god, it's adorable. I laughed. So we're going to use those on the oval. Okay, now I have already gotten started. Hello, hello. Um, with this ribbon. And then this one. I'm in love with this one because this one is like flannel. Like it feels like your flannel shirts. So it's not just regular ribbon, but it's that flannel and I love it. So we're gonna be using those. Now these I did cut at 14 inches because I don't know, I just did. Oh, I guess we're gonna see what it looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so the way I set up the board I still did it every other outside, which way am I going? Inside, outside, inside, okay? I'm using pipe cleaners because I'm adding tails and we're adding um, ruffles and I wanted you to be able to see exactly how I set up this board. We're doing the moves, Bobby. <laughs> So, we, I, we're doing 10-inch poofs using 21-inch mesh, okay? I've already done the inside row. So, I'm kind of treating this like a, just a regular work form. So, I did the inside row, and now I'm going to do the outside row, okay? The reason I did the inside row first was so that we don't, just like on a work form, so you don't drag your mesh over the mesh you already have on there. Okay. So let's get started. I have to let me move y'all down just a little bit. You're not centered. Hello, hello. So I am using my measure buddy. It is at 10 inches. What are you going to teach me? I don't know. It's a secret. <laughs> I have no idea where the moose came from. Um, I know a lady who was getting out of the wreath business. And I bought all of her stuff. Um, all I can tell you is. It says stuffed animal had little blue house. So little blue house, that's all I know. So you might be able to pull that up. Now, usually I would do undo my poofs as we go, but I'm not, okay? Just because there's very little room. So I'm just gonna do it all at once. Um, so the, the way I set it up was so that we don't get one poof right on top of the other. That's why I did it the way I did it, okay? So I've already done the inside row. We are going to go to the outside row and just do our 10-inch poof. I know, isn't he adorable? You can use zip ties if you want, totally up to you. Um, but we are gonna be adding ruffles on this one, so that's why I 
and use them pipe cleaners. Hello, hello. My pipe cleaner came undone. There we go. What have y'all been up to all day? Anything exciting? Happy Halloween Eve. I know, I use my measure buddy for a lot of things. <laughs> I think I've even used it to put vinyls on because <laughs> I couldn't find anything right off hand. So I used my measure buddy. It worked. But I really want to see how big we can get this thing, y'all. Hey, hey. You made your turkey? Awesome. You made a Christmas wreath? Mopping up water. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You finished an order. You made your first rail. Now you're obsessed. Oh, my God. Are they not fun to do? around the sides here. Kids and grandkids. Oh, carved pumpkins. Our pumpkins have already rotted. They don't last long here. <laughs> Usually you have to do it just a day or two ahead of time. But Monkey was so excited that we did them early. And now they're already rotted. Hello, hello. I know we've been live all day, haven't we? Ever take time for cocktails? I had a cocktail last night. <laughs> for my birthday. But I'll have some cocktails next week with some friends. A whole bunch of friends. Making spirit shirts. That sounds fun. On the dress. I don't know. I keep looking at the picture and I'm just like, I just don't know. Yay, Bobby got my first drink. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't do them ahead. You can refresh the pumpkin. Yeah, no. They they were already moldy. And the <laughs> the bottom end fell out of my skeleton one. <laughs> so he was hanging on for dear life. I do have candy corn nails. Until tomorrow. That'll get changed. To fall. Oh my god. Look how big this thing is going to be, y'all. Holy moly. Where am I going? Well, I'm going 
one more poof. So still using less than a roll of mesh, y'all. Hey, hey. <coughs> Where am I at? Oh, I know what I did. Okay, we're just gonna make it go right over that one. Actually, that's too bulky. Let me undo it. And do it that way. Yes, it is the poof, Brenda. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Tina, I usually get my nails done every two weeks. But with us having to go out of town, um, I missed my appointment. That's the only thing I really do for myself, is get my nails done. And take a shower every once in a while. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So let's poof our poofs. This is 21 inch mess mesh Let me just do the outside before I get confused look how big this thing got y'all now does the polish wear off well nope I get the um, the powder so I can literally scratch right through it and it'll still be the same color good evening did that sound spooky <laughs> Was I not spooky enough? All right. There we go. So, we are just going to do 10 inch ruffles. Now, this is strip mesh and this is jute. Doesn't matter. Okay. I want the same color scheme because we're gonna have this bright red and black on top and I don't want it to, to blend all together. Um, so I went with just a natural base. So we're gonna put one of these in every pipe cleaner. Go right down to the base, put it right on top. Your mom loves to hear me talk. <laughs> hello, hello. 
Ruffle up or ruffle down? The curved side is down. I'll go slow. I'll, I'll do the next one slower. Okay, so I did wood burn this 10 by 10. So we have the curved side down. Okay, and then just ruffle from one end to the other. Just like that. And it'll go curved side down. If you want it to go up, you can do it, but you're going to get that look instead of this look. Yes, I did wood burn it. Now, burlap jute does not hold up like your deco mesh. So it's overall going to be still a little bit flatter than a regular deco mesh wreath would be. Did that make sense? I'm only giving it one twist because I'm still going to come back in with my tails. Well, hello. And using two different kinds of mesh just gives it more texture. So I, I mix meshes all the time. Whether it's fabric with deco or jute, <coughs> excuse me, jute with um, strip. And working with burlap, y'all, gets me every time. So I'm sorry. But I'm going to take a drink here in just a minute. Whew. <clears throat> this is the oval, Patricia. I did carry. I did. Nadine, we had barbecue. <laughs> you are, Bridget. If you um, text me at 281-502-2228, I'll text you every time I go live. And then you'll never miss me again unless you have to work. <laughs> Your ovals were delivered today. Yay. Still have to say that lantern is my favorite oval so far that I've done. But this might be a close second. And when I get back, I'm going to start hacking this board up, y'all. What was that number again? 281 502 2228. And I usually send out a text, usually 10 to 15 minutes 
before I go live. That way you can get your drink, you can get your dinner, whatever you want. Sit down for an hour and listen to me yap. <laughs> You ordered last night awesome and it kicked your butt I'm pulling on those pipe cleaners pretty hard just to make sure that everything is snug. You got the greenery and the berries? Yay! I still have, I've done two projects with those berries, and I think I still have enough to do a third. I'll have to show y'all the, um, the centerpiece I did with the snowman in the VIP group. Oh, I'm sure, Jean. Ouch. Thank you for the stars. I appreciate it. and wreath. I've heard a couple people do those and I've thought about doing it but it's just so time consuming and I don't know if I want to dedicate that much time to it but yeah I've heard and, and people get a lot of um, parties so definitely look into doing it because they're fun or I'm assuming they would be fun all right just a few more y'all you had seven and it had to be delivered oh no Your friends want you to do it, girlfriend. It's an excellent way to make more money. Hobby Lobby. Oh. Hello, Peyton. How are you? Is she teaching you how to make some wreaths? To you today. Do it, girl.
Have y'all checked the weather, those that are coming in for TBR next week? All right. Did I cut too many or do I not know how to count? Oh. <laughs> thinking I missed a couple so let me go back through or I'll find them actually when I start putting these tails on <clears throat> unless I can do it real quick if it looks like a bald spot nope right there just look for the bald spots, y'all. It's going to be cold. Cold, y'all. Cold. It heard y'all was coming and decided it wanted to be cold for y'all. Lord, you can't even see the middle anymore. All right, let's start putting these tails on and then I'll find the other. Because I still have two more over there, so I don't know where they are. So these are 14 inches. And we are going to put one in every pipe cleaner. So one right over the other, find your middle, <coughs> make some room. And scrunch right up the middle. Oh, snow. You like sweatshirt weather? Okay. and we're putting these right on top now for here I don't go down to the the base I just leave that pipe cleaner alone and go right on top of it now I am going to cut these off as we go because we do not need them okay so clip them off take out pipe cleaner and push it down Just like that. Thank you. Is it? Yes, sir. Okay. Love you. Um, not that I know of. Thank you. Sorry, my son popped over. So we got him some barbecue too. <laughs> These ribbon tails are 14 inches. I should have done my 16, but we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll refrain from saying anything until we're done.
Yeah, we like to share that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, DoorDash was already delivered. Thank you very much. I did, Starla. It's the 21-inch base, 10-inch um, poofs. I think I may actually like the 14 inch tails. You're welcome. Give me a thumbs up if it's your first time watching me. First time. Oh, right there. So let's put this here. Oh, there's a few of you. Welcome. I'm Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, let me know. You will find most of my videos on YouTube. So if you're looking for anything, that's where you'll find them. But let's get... See, I knew I'd find them when I started to put the tails in. Um, Sandy, it is the oval from Unique in the Creek. Is the oval. Turn it over for you. Thank you, Peyton. You love moose? So what, like I ask all this every year, what is more than one moose called? Is it mooses? <laughs> or is it just moose? Peyton, what's the answer? Jan, it's still a moose. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is still a moose. Y'all see what I did? Hold on. Let me find the top. That's the top. So I put my directional ribbon upside down, y'all. Can you believe it? It's just a moose. A herd of moose. So I am not going to worry about it because our new top is up there. <laughs> That's how you fix that. <laughs> Just a moose. <laughs> yes, it is. And yes, I did that. So, this is the top. Oh, Y'all better stop laughing at me. It's been a long day. <laughs> so, we're going to make sure. Got to go this way because this is now the top. We can't have upside down mooses. <clears throat> Jean, don't tell her it's our secret. It's trouble, right? <laughs> That's very true. Don't you dare tell her I did that. Okay, so now our mooses are facing the right way. Meese? <laughs> yes, you are. Gosh, these pipe cleaners are tearing my fingers apart. It's a gaggle of geese, so why can't it? Well, that's true. That is true. I love y'all too. <laughs> oh man, that hurts. And of course, I already cut that pipe cleaner. So I'm going to sell it the way it is. And we're going to see how many people notice my mooses is upside down. I would call y'all out for sure. <sighs> but isn't it, you know, didn't your parents always say, do as I say and not as I do? <laughs> right or no? Yep, I had a brain. <clears throat> but I caught it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why is a moose... More than one moose, still just a moose. Thanks.
all you newbies, I love to chit chat, but at least I work and chit chat at the same time, right? Who bet she changes? Stop it, Donna. I did wood burn the ruffles. Now I'm second guessing everything. You broke your arm in July. What? I am not changing it, y'all. Somebody better buy it right now on this live so that I don't go back and change it. <laughs> you buy it as is. All right, we're almost done, y'all. A group of moose is called a herd. So it is, it's a, I guess, just a herd of moose. All right. That's so boring, but okay. <laughs> Yep, that's Damon. I'm just a little OCD. To eat their own. For sure. And a lot of people don't worry about it. My OCD, it will bug me to death. did the top is now the bottom that's how you fix it <laughs> thank you for floating my boat I appreciate it we're almost done we just gotta fan these out put our moose on put our sign and I don't even think I'm gonna put a bow on this y'all what you think Thank you, Evelyn. We're in the same boat. <laughs> but I, and usually I don't cut off my pipe cleaners as I go. Um, usually I save them to the end just in case. And I got so cocky that I started cutting them. So, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> This one is, I had it written down in the other room, 95, I believe. No bow, right? Shocker. But I don't know. That's not definitive yet. <laughs> See, I made y'all think though, didn't I, Kathy? so many. Did I miss something else? Y'all, I guess I just don't know how to count. Usually I don't do that though. Not on my tails. I hate cutting extra tails because then I usually just end up throwing them away.
nope, no discount. You pay extra because that's rare. <laughs> so you had to pay more. It's now a hundred dollars. <laughs> Mare. Not damn good. How are you? Okay, well, I still have two extra everything. I don't know. Let's see if we can find a bald spot while we're fanning out our, our ribbon. Okay, I think I'm okay with the 14 inch tails on this. Remind you of home? Maybe I did. I don't remember. Well, I'm telling you, it's been a long day. This right here is why I cut 16 inch. Because I tend to stick up just a little bit more than I like. So next time I'll stick with my 16 inch tails. At least on the inside maybe. Maybe we'll try, oh look. Right there it is, there's one. And that one has a ruffle, so that's not where the ruffle goes. So I guess I just cut one extra of everything. Hello, hello. It's a hot flash, y'all. We found some extra pipe cleaners. The 
remind you of Canada? <coughs> okay, almost done. Oh, we are done. So I will I will make these sit prettier, trust me. It's just real quick. See how I'm doing that? Because they don't stand up so much. Okay, so this is now the top of my board. <laughs> so this guy is gonna go right in here. And then the sign is gonna go right there. So now to find the holes. Okay. Here we go. Peyton wants you to say yellow. <laughs> there you go. I think that was really mom or grandma wanting to make fun of me. But that's all right. Okay, we got one side. I want it to sit right up under him. So I'm going to go, I'm going to look underneath and go directly over. That way I know it is straight. Let's see if we can flip it over. Okay, so right here, so it's going to go right here. Hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, we got it. All right, Whew. let's get this moose. So I could just put pipe cleaners. I put a hole into him using my awl and just ran pipe cleaners right through him. So this one is Senna. So I'm going to look for my center holes. Okay, 
to make sure he's sitting up. See, that's why I don't fuss with the tails too much because I just end up making them a mess anyway and have to fix them. So, so let me turn it over so y'all can see. So I'm just bringing it up through these holes. There we go. Okay, now I'm not gonna tighten it too much yet until I get all of them in there. And then we'll figure out figure out how tight we need to make it. All right, let's turn it back over so he sits flat. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this, y'all? Were you a payment on him? I'm saying. <laughs> That's exactly where I want him. I've got a needle. And I forget to use it, y'all. Because I'm not used to having it. It's right there. One of y'all sent me two needles. And I just forget. Alright, that's snug. don't like that big thing of, of mesh sticking out there so I'm just fixing our tails to cover that gap there we go all right oh my god look at his antlers they're flopping these tails a little bit since I've got them all a mess. Thanks for floating my boat. Right, y'all there he is oh my god how cute is he um I do have the needle right here it's called um I even kept the packaging so I could tell y'all exactly what it is she sent me um so it is I don't know yarnology steel needle point yarn size 13 size 13 and this is what the the needle looks like so it's huge so it it fits a um the pipe cleaner can go right through there so it does work when i think about it but when i'm live i'm just used to going 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 um so I don't think about it, but I have used it and it does definitely work for sure. <clears throat> All right, let's bring him up. Let me see what he looks like. So I'm thinking I may need to put a couple, one here and have it going up. 
I need to figure out a way to keep that in so that his head doesn't sag. You see what I'm saying? So if I leave it like that, it's going to go down. But I want it to set up. So I will figure that out for sure. And it may be, actually what I may do instead is put one up here and then um, all of this mesh will actually hide it. And that's probably a better idea. So as long as it's sitting right here, it's, it's going the right way. It's when you hang it up that he falls down. Okay, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll just put another pipe cleaner in the back of him so that it sits up. So look how cute. Take payment. <laughs> you have a message on my personal page. Okay. Is that Bullwinkle? Is that what he is? All right, y'all. Well, that is all I've got for y'all. So that is on the oval board. And then what I do is take these once I know everything is where I want it. And I will fish this right back down. Let me just trim that one off so I can show you. And put it right back down in the hole. That way nothing is scratching your customer's door. Just like that. Okay. All right, y'all. I am out of here. I am still working. I'm going to make myself work till nine and then I'm done. Check me out. Put a fork in me. But I got one more hour to work, y'all. So I will come up with something and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.